ISRO Chief S. Somnath has confirmed that come Thursday, July 13th, Chandrayaan-3 will lift off from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre. India, remember viewers, has been exploring the lunar world for over a decade and this is the maiden moon mission. The probe is currently in Sri Harikota, is undergoing integration with the rocket for the liftoff. Most likely, if things go as per the plan, July 13. ISRO is yet to confirm the time, but the announcement people believe is on the cards. Big news coming in. Chandrayaan, remember, is a follow-up uh, mission to Chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate India's uh, space prowess. Let's listen to what the ISRO chairman said. So, the, currently the Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft is fully integrated. We have completed the testing and also mated with the rocket uh, uh, compartment. That's called the payload fairing. And uh, we are building the rocket now. The rocket assembly is going on. Another two days, the rocket assembly will be completed. Then we go through a series of rigorous testing program. Then we will assemble the Chandrayaan-3 on the rocket and we'll go for the launch campaign. So currently the window of opportunity is between 12th to 19th of July. And we will take the earliest possible date, maybe 12th, maybe 13th, or maybe 14th. We don't go to the Earth's end unless there is a technical issue cropping up. That's why there is no exact date today announced. And uh, we will come, uh, come to that exact date after the, all the tests are completed. So people are ro giving rumors of various dates, so it doesn't matter. Final date will be, uh, will be within this. In fact, let me bring in Mr. Sivan, K. Sivan, needs no introduction, former chairman of ISRO. Sir, thank you for speaking to Times Now. What do you make of this announcement? July 13, a possible date. Uh, basically, this uh, whatever uh, observations to be had during the Chandrayaan 2 mission, that is during tanding phase, that uh, observations were uh, noted and uh, the corrective actions have been uh, taken properly. Now, with all the correct actions that all the detailed tests have been done and characterized the changes, with that now we are going for Chandrayaan-3 mission and uh, on July middle, this for this one. Uh -huh. this one. Right, Mr. Sivan, the Vikram lander in 2019, I'm talking about the Chandrayaan-2, had suffered a hard landing that prevented basically the rover from being deployed as planned. Your thoughts uh, as Chandrayaan-3 gets ready for liftoff? Yes, sir. There is a time telling. There is uh, the hard landing. The reason for the hard landing was uh, the analyzed to the data of whatever we acquired during that mission. Then the reason for the hard landing have been identified and the corrective actions have been taken properly. And, uh, and also some more uh, robustness was added to the and the, the system that uh, Vikram lander, with uh, all these things, we are having confidence that we can go ahead with the next uh, mission. Um, there is a plan. Right, Mr. Sivan, before I let you go, there is a slight change uh, in Chandrayaan-3. Apart from a lander and a rover, the orbiter is missing. So there won't be any orbiter in Chandrayaan-3. Could you... Explain to our viewers why is this being done? Uh, basically, this orbiter of the Chandrayaan 2 is still functioning. It was uh, really it is it was planned for only one year. Now it is uh, the, it is working fine, and it is it is expected to work for another uh, five years. So, what are the functions of that uh, the orbiter? That uh, is with respect to lower lander, that functions already will be taken care by the existing orbiter already that going around the moon this one and right. also that uh, the scientific instrument in the land uh, orbiter is doing fine so no need to have one more orbiter to have one more scientific instruments because they all are working very fine so there's no need for a new orbiter india's third lunar mission is on track july 13 is the date uh, for liftoff.